Good evening. Two of Australia's most influential men insist they remain friends tonight despite a very public fistfight. James Packer and Nine CEO David Gingell came to blows on a Bondi street with the embarrassing punch-up caught on camera. It was a paparazzi's payday. Two media giants and mates for more than three decades, James Packer and David Gingell, caught brawling on a Bondi street. The explosive dust-up took place yesterday outside Packer's Bondi Beach home. Gingell was back at the scene of the stoush this morning. He'd even had yesterday. breakfast with the mate he brawled with the day before. 35 years of friendship, mate, doesn't change a well, few of those. Me? Thanks, guys. Gingell and Packer can be the best and worst of friends. Yesterday was a bad day. Punches were thrown and the pair wrestled on the ground for several minutes, leaving Packer with a black eye and gossip columnists in a lather. It was this Channel 9 link truck parked near Packer's home which was the catalyst for the Barney. I actually lived there and I had a late, a late finish and an early start, so I parked there all the time. Um, I guess it's a misunderstanding. James Packer, who has been linked with supermodel Miranda Kerr, saw the truck and rang Gingell to complain, believing he was being staked out by a camera crew. Gingell then went and saw his mate. There were heated words before the Channel 9 CEO conceded, in his own words, he overstepped the mark. By this morning, both businessmen had called a truce, releasing a joint statement. We have been friends for 35 years and still are. In that time, we've had our fair share of ups and downs. We respect each other and neither of us will be commenting further. But with more pictures and even video still to come, this story seems far from over. Damien Ryan, Nine News.